Good morning, everybody. I'm saying good morning because right now it's about 6 a.m. in New York. Uh, in a few, I'm going to head to work, a.k.a. PGY2 residency. Okay. But before I leave, I wanted to bring you guys a quick video on allegations. Now, this is going to be a short video, but I just wanted to go over this topic before I jump into the New York State compounding exam for preparation of ointments and in that in those in that exam like if you make an ointments it's possible that you may need to use allegations so i just wanted to talk about it first so let's begin now what exactly is allegations in order to understand this i want you to take a look at this question so a script calls for 30 grams of hydrocortisone cream 10 percent right so they want 10 percent of they want 30 grams of the 10 percent hydrocortisone cream but unfortunately the pharmacy stocks um only five percent and fifteen percent now the question is saying how much of each product would you use in this order now this is basically allegations uh when you have a stronger strength right like a higher concentration and you also have a weaker concentration you can actually combine them to make a concentration that falls in the middle which makes sense right you take the higher one you take the lower one you mix it obviously the amount of each one that you mix together is gonna vary depending on the concentration that you want but we could take a look at the next slide to get a better idea of what I'm referring to so we have a 3% hydrocortisone cream and we want to make 50 grams of a 1% cream now, to do this, we need something that is going to reduce the concentration of the 3% hydrocortisone cream that we have, right? Because that's the only way you could get 1%. You need something with a lower concentration to bring that 3% down. And fortunately, we have plain cream. Now, this plain cream has no hydrocortisone, so in that case, it's 0%. So if I add the 3% hydrocortisone cream to anything, right, or any cream that doesn't have any hydrocortisone is going to bring that concentration down, okay? Now, how much of the plain cream should I add to the 3% hydrocortisone to make the 1% cream? That's when you're going to set up your allegation map. So, an allegation map usually looks like a tic-tac-toe. But usually you have the high concentration that you have in the pharmacy or whatever the case is. And the low concentration that you have in the pharmacy. And whatever concentration you're trying to prepare, just put it in the middle. Next, what you're going to do is just subtract diagonally. All right. And in this case, whether you get a negative or positive number, that's like that doesn't mean anything okay you could just take all the signs out and keep everything positive so three minus one is two zero minus one is one okay next thing you're gonna do is add these two numbers right so one plus two will be three now what this three means this is the total parts and the whole preparation that you're going to make now, sometimes people get confused with what parts mean. Parts is just saying, like, divide by this number. So, our total that we want to make is 50 grams, right? Because that's what the question asked for, to make 50 grams of the 1%. And if the total parts of the whole 50 gram is 3, it means it's just saying that if you divide 50 gram by 3, you're going to get equal numbers, right? Or if you have a preparation that has, they say it has two parts, right? Two, 50 grams and it's two parts. That means each part will be uh, 25 grams. Or if you have a preparation that's 100 grams and they tell you to divide it into four parts, that means each part will be um, 25 grams. Okay, so that's all parts mean. So what next, so like I said, you're gonna add the parts. So that means three parts. So that means 50 grams will give you three parts right and as you can see here after you subtract this zero percent correlates with this two parts so it's just saying that you're gonna use two parts of the zero percent 
cream and you're gonna use one part of 3% cream okay so now you can find out how much of each you need so that's when you will divide each side so you'll divide one by the total parts right so this will be one divided by three and you're gonna get 0 0.33 also no also uh 33 percent so 33 percent of the 50 grams is going to come from the three percent cream you do the same for the bottom so it's going to be two divided by three which means that 0.66 or you could say 67 right 67 percent of the total cream that you make is going to come from the zero percent concentration cream right and notice how they both add up to 100 because that's like it makes sense that's how it's supposed to be that's what percent percent means right now you want to know you have your percentages right so now you want to know you want to know the amount so you just all you have to do is take 0.33 divided by uh, multiply by the total amount of cream that you want to make so 50 grams right so you're going to do 0.33 of 50 grams is 16.5 so that means you need 16.5 grams of the 3% hydrocortisone cream and you need 67% grams of the you need sorry you need 67% of the 50 grams right like we got here and that's 33.5 grams of the 0% cream. Now once you add these two together you're going to get a total amount of 50 grams. Not only that, but you're also going to be using two parts, right? You use two parts of the 0% cream and one part of the 3% cream. Now, you have to make logic of this, right? If I have 3%, right, I'm going to, you're going to think about it. To get it down to 1%, you're probably going to need more of the 0% cream, right? You're going to need more 0% cream than the three percent in order to bring it down to one percent so that's like a way to make logic of it all right you wouldn't say that you would need more of the three percent that wouldn't make sense because you're going to make the final concentration even more concentrated you want to bring it down so you're going to need more of the zero percent um let's take a look at two more examples so back to that original example um, that I had in the first one, I switched the numbers around a little bit. So another scrape calls for 50 grams of hydrocortisone cream, 10%, um, right? F make, temp make 50 grams of a 10% uh, cream, and the pharmacy has 17% and 7%. Once again, the pharmacy does not have the 10% cream, but we have two different concentrations. We have a high concentration and a low concentration. So that means we could combine them to make the concentration that we want, all right? And that's allegation math. So once again, you set it up high concentration up here, low concentration up here, middle concentration is the one that you need. Next, you subtract diagonally. 17 minus 10 is 7. 7 minus 10 is negative 3, but we're going to leave it as 3 like I mentioned. What do you do next? You add the 3 plus 7, and that's 10. So that means you're going to have 10 total parts. So 50 grams equals to 10 parts. Okay. Now here you see that the 17%, you're only going to need 3%. 3% of the 50 grams is going to come from the 17%. And 7% of the 50 grams is going to come from the 7% concentration. Okay. So to get that, you just add these up to get the total parts, which is 10. And you start from the top. 3 divided by 10 is 0.30 or 30%. Right? So that means that 30% um, 30 of this is going to come from the... Um, I think earlier I mentioned that this 3% means that 3% of... the seven, You're going to need 3%. 3% of the total is going to come from the 17% percent which is not true these numbers are just parts right even though I have the percentage there don't get confused these are just parts it doesn't mean anything until you divide um, but it just gives you an idea right uh, it gives you an, an idea to say that I'm gonna need uh, seven times and three times basically um, it's just telling you you're gonna need more of the seven percent and less of the three percent to get the amount or the percentage, that's when you divide. So 3 divided by 10 is, is 30. So you, in this case, you're going to get 
thirty percent of the final the final fifty gram cream is gonna come from the seventeen percent cream. Um, step seven, you do the same thing. You divide seven here by ten to get seventy percent. So that means when we make the ten percent fifty gram hydrocortisone cream, seventy percent is gonna come from the seven percent concentration, right? Now, once again, if you want to know how much each one you will need, that's when you multiply the percentage that you found by 50. So 30% 30, 30 of 50 grams or point, point 0.30 or point 0.3 times 50 grams is 15 grams. So you're going to use 15 grams of the 17% hydrocortisone cream. You do the same for here, and that will give you 35 grams. And you're going to add these two to make a product that's 50 grams and 10%. Once again, let's try to make logic of this. In order to go from 17% to 10%, you need to bring the concentration down. So in this case, which one do you think you're gonna need more of? You're gonna need much more of the lower concentration to bring the high concentration, sorry, to bring the high concentration down. Okay, which makes sense as we can see here. We have 35 grams and we're going to mix it with the 15 grams of the 17% hydrocortisone cream to get what we want. Let's take a look at the final example. Now, the final example is a little different. When allegations are given to you, they usually give it to you in two ways. So I went over the first type and this is the second type. So like I said, in the previous example, we didn't know how much of each ingredient that we needed to make our final product, right? I didn't know how much, like when the question asked me, it was asking me to find out how much I needed, right? So that means we didn't know. So we didn't know how much 17% hydrocortisone cream we needed, and we didn't know how much 7% cream we needed to make a total of 50 grams of 10% hydrocortisone cream. Now, sometimes the question may say, Oh, the pharmacy has, let's say, 10 grams of the 7%, and they want you to use all of it, right? So you're going to use all of the 10 grams of the 7% and add it to a certain amount of the 17% to still get the product that they want you to make, okay? Now, in these cases, they usually don't tell you how much of the total, how much, uh, how much total is going to be. Right, because when I have 10 grams of 7%, you don't know how much 17% hydrocortisone cream you need to add to it in order to get the 10% um, cream. You might need to add because when you add it up, it might be more than 50 grams, right? It might be more than 60 grams. You don't know, all you know is that you have 10 grams of the 7% cream. And you're going to add a certain amount of 17% cream, hydrocortisone cream, until you reach 10%. Once you reach 10%, then you can stop and say, this is my total product. Okay? So this is something that you could probably use when you're batching, right? Like, we have 100 grams of 7% cream. And we want to make, like, small... Uh, we want to make small batches of 10% cream. But we only have 7% of the 7% cream, but we have 100 grams. So now we want to know how much of the 17% cream should we add to this 100 grams of 7% cream to make a cream that's 10%. Once we find out how much we need to add, we're going to have like a lot of cream basically, right? We're going to add a certain amount of this to 100 grams of this so we get 10%. Once we get that, we could divide them into little 10% uh, batches, okay? So use the previous example, but assume that the question is asking you to use 10 grams of 7%. Are you going to use all of this? This is all the pharmacy has. Um, you're going to use all of this uh, supplied to you, and the total weight of the final product is not given. So how much of the 17% hydrocortisone cream that you also have in the pharmacy would you need to add to all the 10 grams of the 7% hydrocortisone cream to make a 10 to make that to make it 10% basically, and also to find out how much total cream is going to be prepared. This one is pretty easy actually, I would say, compared to the other one. Um, so once again, same step. We put the higher concentration up, low concentration here, right? 17% minus 10, it's 7. 7 minus 10 is 3, 
right? These are not these are in percentages, but remember, these don't mean the percentages don't mean nothing. These are just parts, right? In this case, we know how much hydrocortisone seven percent that we have, or this is how much they are giving us, right? So here we know that we have 10 grams of this. So when you get to this part, instead of adding these two together, you can just set up a proportion, right? As you can see here. So when I get here, the three, these these don't get confused once again. The 3% is coming from here, but it signifies the 17% cream. So three equals to X, right? And we said that seven, these are parts, right? So seven parts is 10 grams because that's all we have. That's all we have. So we could say seven parts equals to 10 grams. Okay. So now we're going to solve for the other remaining parts, which is the three, the three, um, the three parts that's remaining. So you cross multiply, you solve for X, which is going to give you 4.3 grams. And the 4.3 grams correlates with the 17% cream. So you're going to add 4.3 grams of the 17% to, uh, to 7% cream right in order to get a 10% cream you're gonna get a 10% cream but you won't know how much the total weight is till you add it so your final answer you need to add 4.3 grams of the 70% hydrocortisone cream to 10 grams right which was given in the beginning they told you to use all of it of the 7% hydrocortisone cream in order to make 10% hydrocortisone cream and the total weight in this case would be 14.3 grams Okay, if they gave you a total amount that they wanted you to make, this whole thing would be different. Okay, so it changes. You won't know the total until you really calculate it. Um, like I said, or you could say if the pharmacy only had the 17% cream and they had 10 grams, you could set up a proportion and find out how much of the 7% cream you need also. So you could do it vice versa. Which brings me to the conclusion of this video. Um, I hope I explained it in the best way possible for you to understand. Allegations may seem a little scary for some people, but it's pretty easy. And just like everything else, it just you just need to practice. And practice is what's going to make you perfect. So just take a look at the video. Um, pause it if you need to. Read the slides. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, I will reply right away. If there's anything that you want me to like go over regarding allegations, um, just ask me. I would I could do a personal video. I could do a public video. It doesn't matter. Um, and just make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like these, as I will be posting. Like I said, I posted this allegation video as a pre-video before I post the New York State compounding. Um, exam video for ointments as you may be required to use it um so thank you guys for watching and i will see you later okay bye